Hello everyone, my name is Ryan and in this lesson I'll be showing you how to work with IDs in CSS. Now an ID is very similar to a class in that it enables you to create a custom style sheet for a specific area on the page. The main difference between an ID and a class is that an ID um, is unique, needs to be unique on a page. That means you cannot reuse the same ID anywhere else on the page. Uh, and each element can also only have one ID per tag. Okay, so let us begin by going to the CSS coding and doing a bit of coding. I'm going to create something called a header. Notice that I began the statement with a hashtag and the hashtag is always used to designate this particular style sheet as being an ID. So I'll put a background of yellow and I'll put a border of one pixel solid black. Maybe some padding as well. Right. Okay, then in the HTML side, I need to give an ID to something in the page. So I'll give an ID to this heading and I'll just call it header. And you'll notice that it's now turned yellow with some padding and a border all the way around. So I may not use this ID anywhere else on the page. This is now unique. If I were to create another ID in the block quote, for example, I would not be allowed to use header. I'd have to use something completely different. Okay, and then we may not assign more than one ID per tag. So I may not do something like this. I would only be allowed to assign one specific ID on the page. So then where do we use a ID and where do we use a class? Well, I like to think of whenever I need to reuse something on a page, I will make sure I use a class. And if it's only for one specific purpose, like for a footer or a nav, nav bar or, or a header, then I would then use an ID. All right, so let us see what happens if we add a class to this header. I'll just call it X and then I'll go and define a class for X. Remember classes begin with full stop, IDs begin with hash. I'm going to set a background color of red. I'm going to set a foreground color of purple and I'm going to set a font size of 20 pixels. Okay, so refresh and notice what happened okay so firstly i noticed that the font did become purple and that the font size changed to 20 pixels one thing that did not change however was the background color and you might wonder why did the background color not change well the answer is because a id always has priority over a class so because i specified the background color in the id of yellow that was what took precedence so this background color here was completely ignored if I had to remove the background color over here from the header then you'll notice that the background color from the class actually click, kicks in and now turns red so that brings us to the end of the section on working with IDs in CSS